So in this Starfield video, I'm going to be showing you how to make basically an invincible ship. Yeah, sometimes you may be able to take a little bit of damage depending on your position, but for the most part, you're going to be almost impossible to hit. Once you make this one, you're not going to be needing any other ship. And the greatest thing about this is it doesn't really cost that much to make, and it's really easy to make this too. Like you can literally be a beginner at making ships and still be able to design this. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into this. If you find this enjoyable, by the way, consider taking a little bit of your time and leaving a like on it. The support is greatly appreciated. Uh, so first things first, I want to give credit where credit is due. I didn't come up with the concept design of this ship. A guy that goes by Morpholaths came up with the design of this. He's been blowing up here lately. Also, I want to give credit to the YouTuber Kibbles Gaming as well for coming up with an improved concept over Morpholat's invincible ship design. Links will be down below in the description to their channels. Feel free to check them out. I can't wait to share this with y'all. This is definitely something you want to take advantage of. This ship will make very hard ships feel easy. <laughs> so yeah, anyways, now since that's out of the way, let's get into how to make this. So instead of using like a spaceport at a big city, what you want to do is actually use a spaceport at one of your personal outposts that you make. So let's just go ahead real quick and fast travel somewhere on Jemison. Doesn't really matter where, we just want to make an outpost and build a ship landing area at our outpost. Just because we get more options to choose from when designing a ship. If you don't know how to get like the specific materials that are required to make the landing pad, uh, stay tuned until the very end. I'll go ahead and show you all how to get the materials real quick as well. I just want to get straight into how to design this first because I feel like that's why most of you came to this video. In case you don't know how to make an outpost, just pull up your scanner and you just press whatever button it is for you to build an outpost. So on Xbox it's X, then you just place your outpost. Now you just want to pull up the build menu and go over to the miscellaneous tab and go down to landing pad with ship builder. It's going to require two beryllium, 30 iron, two zero wire, and 18 adaptive frames. Once you got all that, just simply build it and place it down. Now we want to head to the top by climbing the stairs. Up here we can find a computer that we can access and this is how we can build a ship. Once again, more options are available if you choose to build here instead of at like the New Atlantis spaceport or something. Anyways, now let's go ahead and get into building this basically invincible ship. So I'm gonna start from scratch here. I'm just gonna go ahead and delete my Rafulian ship. This is just a basic ship I built when I was given a bunch of tips over the basics within shipbuilding. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and delete this. So to start this off, we're gonna be starting with a cockpit. I know, weird to just start with this, but you'll see. Go ahead and pick whatever cockpit you want. Basically the smaller, the better, honestly. Because the smaller cockpit you had, the harder it is to hit you. And that's the idea of the ship design. Also, there's not gonna be any center for the ship. The middle is going to be like a huge opening. And that's where a lot of the ship's fire is in the middle. This is like a ship to cheese other ships and how they are designed to fight. Anyways, now let's go over to the Habs. So go back to add and go to the habitations here. Just add one small one once again. Smaller the better. Connect it with your cockpit. There you have it, that's what we got so far. Once again, just choose whatever you want for the hab, but that's just a small one that you can use. Then after that, let's go ahead and head over to gear and add a landing port. So once you got this, go ahead and duplicate it. And yeah, just add in the back, that should be good enough. Now we want to add a landing bay. So let's go ahead and do that. Doesn't really matter what bay you choose, any you know, of them will work. Go ahead and attach it. No, I'm gonna put it right there. All right, so now we got this going on. Next up, we want to add a Hope 11 docker port. And just attach it right here. Okay, so now we have this. Next up, we're going to be making it go higher. So find something that makes it so you can stack. Uh, if we go over to the decorations, which is the structural designs, there's different things that you can use here to stack up high. So look for something that has a connector at the top. Like for instance, this will do. A Stroud engine bracer. And just put it here, and then we're gonna keep stacking it. You will know if you stacked it too high if it become. you will know if you stacked it too high if six errors become available instead of five. You can see that at the bottom right. Right now we only have five errors going on. But if you stack it too high, 
there will be six errors. So you, what you wanna do is make it go five up. So we got one, two, three, four, five. All right, that's high enough. Now you wanna add something that will connect to the sides. Doesn't really matter what, as long as it can connect to the side. We go to our halves, we can add this at the top. Once again, it doesn't really matter what you add at the top. What we're gonna be doing now is attaching things to the side and making it go over. So this center here is going to be where the ships will typically fire at, if that makes sense. So let's go ahead now and add something that attaches all the way over to the other side. So if you go to structural, you can find something that should be able to attach. This right here should be good enough. The Deimos Bracer A, that should work. So yeah, now go ahead and duplicate them all the way over. We're gonna be adding eight of these. So once you got eight of them going on here, you now want to add the other side. We're gonna be replicating this other side basically. Well, we're just gonna be adding this on the other side. So just go ahead and duplicate this and then attach it over here. Oh, actually I went one, two over. See how it says six errors at the bottom? You don't want that. Basically, as you can see, it states this now. Ship exceeds max length, width, or height. So we went a little too far over. If that happens, just delete one of the connectors that make it wide, then add the duplication on this side. So yeah, there we have it. Now we got this going on. Once again, this is where the ships will be firing at, right in the middle here. You can design this however you want to design it. You don't have to do what I'm exactly doing. There is many different ways you can make this, as long as you just make the middle here open. All right, so now we're gonna be making it across this way. I'll go ahead and just add these Hope Tech Pipes A mid across on this side. So yeah, let's go ahead and duplicate a bunch of these. Now once you got this, duplicate the corner. Oh, that's one too far. There we go. Okay, so next up here, we're going to be adding a reactor. Doesn't really matter what reactor you choose. Of course, if you got the money to spend for a better one, go ahead and spend on the better one, but it's totally up to you. Either way, this is going to be an invincible ship, no matter what you use. I'm just gonna go ahead and use this. Put it at the bottom here. All right, so now we have four errors we still need to fix. We need to add some engines, a grab drive, and as well as a fuel tank. So let's go ahead and head on over to grab drives and let's add this R3000 one at the bottom. Now we only have two errors that we gotta fix. Next up here, let's add an engine. Keep in mind, you can add multiple if you want, but I'm just gonna be adding one just to show you it's possible to make this extremely cheap. And at the engines here, you can add basically any of them that will allow you to attach at the top and bottom. So this one could work. You know, it, it's totally up to you on what you choose. As long as it can attach at the top and bottom. Like this one can only attach at the bottom, but not at the top. So this one wouldn't work. So I'm gonna go ahead and just add this, put it at the bottom here. So now go ahead and just duplicate this. Wait, ship exceeds max length, hang on. So I'm gonna have to delete this, put all these back one basically. Now, Ship has unattached modules. Oh, right there. Now I'm gonna add this, put this there, duplicate this, put that there. All right, now once we have this, we then want to add a fuel tank. Doesn't matter what you use. Okay, now technically this would work. You could fly with this already. We only got warnings now. Let's add some weapons and a shield. All right, so for the weapons, you can choose whatever you want. I'm gonna go ahead and add this cannon. Actually, to attach this weapon, I'm going to add something so I can attach it to the top. This will work. Put that there, then I can put my weapon on top of that. All right, so now I'm gonna add this missile launcher here. Also gonna add another spine. And I'm gonna duplicate this and put another spine over here. Put a missile there. And I'm gonna add electric beam here. Okay, so now we just have to add a shield and then assign the weapons and we're good to go. So let's go ahead and add a shield. Now, just because this is basically an invincible ship doesn't mean you can't be destroyed. Sometimes if you're at a weird angle, 
other ships can manage to damage you. So having a great shield, especially if you're playing on very hard or something, will definitely come in handy. You may have to put on a better reactor though if you are going to use a really good shield. But I'm actually just going to use a cheap shield for this one. Just to show you, you don't need the best of the best to get this ship to work on very hard. But, you know, having a very good shield is something that would be beneficial. You just, once again, will have to have a better reactor on your ship. So yeah, there you have it, everyone. This is basically the design. I just have to assign the weapons. And then I'm going to show you all this in combat. So in order to assign weapons, I just press the menu button then go over to weapons. I can assign them here. So now the only warning states that I have low mobility, but that's not a big deal. We're going to be all right, especially with this kind of design. <laughs> now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and just rename this one to the Rifulian. This is my new Rifulian ship. Say goodbye to the old one. So now in order to save the ship, just exit out. Press A. There we go. And by the way, make sure it is your home ship too. You can do that by pressing the menu button if it isn't, as you can see at the bottom right. Such a crazy looking design, right? <laughs> but it works. Once again, the idea is the ships will be trying to shoot you. And when they do shoot at you, they shoot at the middle. And yeah, there's a big opening here in the middle. So it's going to be harder for them to hit you. Sometimes you will be once again at a weird angle and they will be able to attack you. But for the most part, you're going to be invincible. I'm going to be demonstrating that now. All right. So we got an enemy here. I'll go ahead and show you real quick that I'm on very hard. Yeah. Let's check this out in action. As you can see, the ship is shooting at me, or at least trying to. And it's just going right through the middle. All those ships over there. Oh, some are getting me. Here and there. But for the most part, they're all missing. Look at all these skull enemies trying to get me. Oh, I just got out of my ship. Whoops. That's alright. I can't believe I just accidentally did that. Well, I guess that proves a point too. You don't even have to be worrying about the ships. Once again, if you are at a weird angle, they can, like, hit you. It is a possibility, but for the most part, they're not going to be hitting you. And real quick here, like I mentioned before, in case you are needing help with getting the materials to make a landing area at your outpost, all you got to do is head to Alpha Satari and then Jemison, and then you want to go to the viewport at New Atlantis where your spaceship lands. And from here, you just want to head on over to the mercantile shop, which that's located right over here. And this lady will sell everything that's required to make the ship landing area at your outpost. Just go to resources when you're trading with the lady and you'll find everything that you'll need. And if you don't get exactly the amount that you're needing, you can just simply wait on the chair that's right outside of this place for 24 hours, then head back in and she should be restocked with the goods. But yeah, I guess that's our wrapping up this video, everyone. Hope you all found this enjoyable and it helps you out. I'm out of here though. As always, thanks for taking the time, watching and listening. Until next time, peace.